So guys, today we're gonna to be looking at tiny knives for bushcrafting. Now we already looked at large knives or big knives for bushcraft. Today, we're gonna to be looking at tiny knives or generally considered very small knives for bushcrafting situations. And we're gonna be going over a handful of different tests some of which they may fail, some of which they may pass, and just overall show you guys the dexterity slash the capability and usefulness of tiny knives for bushcraft. As always guys, before we hop into all of the fun stuff with these tiny knives, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you wanna see more Alaskan awesomeness. And I'm gonna be rolling in some more footage as we talk here about small knives. Overall, you guys can definitely see there, uh, in most of the circumstances, the tiny knives actually performed really well. And I have to say, this Benchmade is quite a little slicer. One of the primary reasons I was having so much issue with it when uh, making things like the feather stick and netting needle is this thing actually just wanted to continue to slice just through the wood. And I found really hard to actually get it to like specifically one of the primary things with it that is having issue but for the most part it actually performed both of these knives actually performed quite well I would say and as I was of course expecting the uh, batoning was not impossible to do with either of these two knives it was just very hard because of course when you have this much blade or even this much blade that's not much more as you guys can see you know when you don't really have that much blade uh, it's very hard to baton and of course I just rolled in there with the buck thug just to help baton it down a uh, piece of wood so I can use that to make a net as you can see you know there was definitely limitations in the baton ability of these knives to be expected but for most of the other tasks that these two knives did, I actually found them to be extremely capable and most of the issue I was having with both of them was actually the fact that they just wanted to be so capable that I was having issues with them. Like I said, especially with feather sticking, they were just so thin and so small. They just wanted to continue to just go right through the wood really easily. And so it took me a lot more control to actually control it to get proper curls. And even at times when making the netting needle, the knife just wanted to keep on going you guys could see I had to make the uh, middle needle part actually a little bit smaller than I was anticipating because these knives took off so much material so much faster than I was expecting them to but other than those things these two knives actually proved to be really capable and really awesome bushcrafting knives now of course I'm not saying that I'm gonna go replace my large belt knives or even most uh, decent sized neck knives that I carry with these knives but they certainly show their aptitude to being capable companions uh, for different varieties of bushcrafting tasks and I would say that they're really great 
specifically for just being a really great complement to the larger knives. Going into places, as you can see, like with the netting needle, going into places where things like the Buck Thug or even something more reasonable like an Allegheny M38 may struggle. So that was those were my primary takeaways from seeing these small knives in bushcrafting settings. Anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this nice look at the bushcrafting small knives in a bushcrafting circumstance. And that's all for now. I'm out.